the rumors are heating up. One of the most polarizing figures in coaching um, started out with Schefter a week, a little bit more than a week ago, tweeting out. He said at least two NFL teams have reached out to Meyer to inquire if he's interested in pro football. And then Ian Rappaport tweeted out Saturday. He said the Jaguars have shown interest in Florida and in former Florida and Ohio State coach Urban Meyer who has been lining up a staff and telling people he's close to in the football community that he expects to land in Jacksonville, per sources. And then today, it's far off from what Shad Khan said today when he's, when the owner of the Jaguars said that he and Meyer haven't talked yet. Is that Cap, ja- uh, Eric? That's Cap. Khan's a liar. Like, Dang. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> Is his name on your checks? Uh, no, Jacksonville Jaguars. I don't. I don't get checks. No, they wire that shit. Damn! I just got a Jags notification. Should Jags make twelve million dollar gamble on Meyer? Why my FBI agent listening? <laughs> <laughs> and that's the next thing I have on my list. He wants. It came out today that he wants twelve mil a year. Okay, like where does this money come from? The the owners, right? When you pay a coach, it doesn't come from the salary cap. Obviously, it comes from the owner. So if your owner doesn't care. I mean, He's a billionaire, Khan. so... Shad Khan. So, when he bought the team in 2012, he said that he held up a ticket. And he said, this is going to be the hottest ticket in town. Mm. And, I mean, it's Jacksonville. So, regardless of how good the Jags are, it really is always the hottest ticket in town. But, he wants it to be a hot ticket. And, I mean, like it or not, Urban Meyer, Trevor Lawrence is a hot-ass ticket. That's get I'm season tickets. Are you kidding me? That You got me back on board. You taking two games to London? Fuck, I don't care. I'll go. Would they? What? Would they still go to London? I don't know. I think if they... Because the London contract expired this year. It did. And if they get Urban and Lawrence, I don't know if they take both. Because they did... They announced two games to London. Jags I don't, would burn that stadium down. I don't... The right? If you, take, <laughs> if you take two games of Trevor Lawrence from me, fuck you. <laughs> Um, that would be, but that, I'm, that I got so much backlash when they first announced that. If oh, yeah. you did that again after getting the first round pick and a new head coach, Urban and Meyer, Urban Meyer. Caliber, yeah, we're blowing up the stadium. Let me chill. And I'm all for uh, so here's my stance on Urban, all for him. Um, I think that's exciting. He's a, he's a team builder, yeah, he's not super into X and O's, but hey, if he has if you interview him and he says he has an offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator in mind. Let them ha- handle the X's and O's. He is a program builder. He's he built Bowling Green, the Florida Gators, um, Ohio State. Like he won Ooh. everywhere. His his overall record is ridiculous, and people are like, he doesn't. He's not good at losing. Okay, I'm not either. Good. I'm glad you're not good at losing. A sore loser. I'm, I'm glad you're a sore loser. I'm glad it hurts you health wise to lose. Because it does me too. So I don't see why that um, is an issue. Just give me someone who's fucking done it before. I'm sick. I don't want to go into a, find a diamond in a rough. Brian Dable, offensive coordinator of the Bills. He's never, he's never, fi- he's not built a fucking program before. Give me someone who's fucking done it. Because that is so much more exciting and it just gives me so much more hope than. In picking an offensive corner coordinator from a, from another team, we've tried that. Yeah, picking picking like a offensive coordinator or like a linebackers coach, like the Dolphins, and when you make that first hire, you're like fuck, and you have to wait to see, yes, if it turns into anything good. But when you go for the stars, you land stars on the literally. Urban Meyer is a star. You immediately have some optimism because of the success he's had in the past. But I got three things about Urban Meyer here. First, one, it's easy for outsiders that aren't Jags fans looking at us to be like, oh, he won't he won't do shit in the NFL because you guys aren't the ones who had to watch a one in fifteen team this season. You guys aren't fans of a team that's been asked for twenty plus years. If you guys were were our position, Jags fans that never sees your team win. Maybe your tone will be a little different. That's the first thing. Because I've seen some like people that aren't even Jags fans but are like diehard college football fans being like, 
Urban Meyer, man, he ain't built for the NFL, man. He's he only good in college. His system wouldn't work. Shut up. Just let us be happy. Fuck, we suck. Second, that being said, he hasn't coached the NFL. And we all know that it's it's different. I was telling Andy this, that not every successful college coach comes in and has success. Look at Nick Saban staying his ass at Bama. I can't hear you. Nick Saban ain't coming fucking back to NFL. Like Nick Saban's built a great program at Bama, winning culture, goat recruiter, no ego issues like you have in the NFL. If someone comes to Bama and says, yo, I don't fucking like what you got going on, Saban, he'll replace your ass with another top five recruit. If he could, he ain't leaving Bama. So we we haven't seen what Urban Meyer's done in the NFL. So that's the only issue that I would have with his signing. But I think he has enough football knowledge to put together a coaching staff that could bring in a rookie quarterback and do something with the weapons we currently have in offense. So not opposed to it. And lastly, we got nothing to fucking lose. So I put that point above all the other shit that I yeah, said. The, so we, n- nothing to lose. Like I'm that's that's my main point. Like, fuck it. I'm sick of trying to find this diamond in the rough offensive coordinator somewhere. Give me give me let's go for the fucking gold. Yeah. That's, give us the headlines. I'm, I'm, give us the primetime games. I don't care. <laughs> he'll have Trevor, uh, he'll have so much to build around, so Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. We I literally tweeted this during the season that we have never had a one game winning season. A one one game yeah, one game Wow, I can't talk. Let me rephrase it. We have never had a season where we won one game and then we finished one at fifteen. So we're doing terrible firsts here in Duval and I'm over it. So we got nothing to lose. Give me Urban Meyer. And if it doesn't work out, you know, don't kill care. myself, like Andy says. <laughs> well, I actually don't if it doesn't work out. I have I will take I will take the Chiefs offensive coordinator. If we have to. Like Shad Khan, you're a billionaire. Pay him twelve mil if he wants to come out of retirement. He still has to make that decision. So we don't know whose private jet that was out of Columbus. But. And people people are like, uh he he his health is an issue. Um, he quit because he can't he he can't handle the stress. I don't know if NFL is more stressful than college. Um, I would say college you have to deal with recruiting, and I think the L's really weighed on him in college because you take an L as a Gators head coach or an Ohio State head coach, and your your season's over. Your season's probably over. You take an L in the NFL, that's fine. Now don't take 15 in a row like the Jaguars did. But I don't think you can, I think you can make build. the playoffs in the NFL with 7 wins sometimes. Yeah, just look at this year. Sometimes so, 9, you know? Like it it just depends. So, it's different. And yeah, you have more there's more patience in the NFL. People know that you have to really build. And if you if you Urban, if you if he likes to build programs, this is one that needs to be built from literally the ground up, and you have all the tools to do it. So, come on down. <laughs> come on down to the Sunshine State. This is when a, do you think this decision is going to be made? I don't know. I th- I thought there was a chance it would, it would be announced today if they were seriously in very close talks together, but it appears that. Um, Shad Khan today said that they are opening up the doors to interviews with a lot of people. So I, I could see it happening in maybe just over a week. I don't know if he's going to come in for an actual interview. I think maybe if he says that, okay, I want the job, there might not be an interview. They might just be him saying, all right, you have it. But I think we are in the meantime going to interview some other people. That is some meet big them. dick energy. Yeah, right. To just say, all right, I want it. <laughs> And then they say, okay, interviews are done. Sorry. You got it. Here's your paperwork. Yeah.